Hey everybody, Matt here, and today I wanted to make a quick video for anybody out there who's interested in the Wicked Brick angle display for the UCS Star Destroyer. Now I built this about three years ago, and one of the biggest problems with it is the footprint that it takes up, all right? Like just rough estimates, it's damn near 26 inches wide and 18 inches tall, so I wanted to find something that maybe helps reduce that overall width, um, even if that's at the expense of the height of the unit. So I purchased the stand from Wicked Brick. Um, for those of y'all curious, I bought this on May 16th and today is July 8th. So it took a little bit over a month and a half to get here. I'm in Texas, came from the UK. Price on it was 80 US dollars plus $35 shipping. So 115 total for it to arrive. That seems a little bit steep, but at the same time, uh, maybe the quality is worth it. Maybe the space reduction is worth it, but we'll go ahead and find out. I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna build it, gonna put the Star Destroyer on it, and we'll see how it goes. So, I already took off the top panel like you're supposed to when you do this, and let's just go ahead and knock out the rest. They really package the hell out of this thing, man. All right, so I'm finally done peeling all of the protective film off of the acrylic. This stuff is definitely a fingerprint magnet, so just be aware of that, especially these uh, clear pieces here. Let's go ahead and get it assembled and installed. It's definitely not a pleasant sound, to say the very least. And now I've got to clean up the acrylic because it looks like garbage. All right, so now for the difficult part, which is getting this thing mounted onto here by myself. Now the video I watched uh, by Wicked Brick shows one guy doing it. So let's see if that's actually possible. So that's interesting. I'm removing the back ones now, but the, the engine block part in the back is stopping it. I didn't see anything about them removing that part. Yeah, they did not make that look like a problem in the video. Dude. What the fuck, man? How are you supposed to do that? All right, let me pause and see what I can figure out. Very cool. Okay, so kind of out of ideas here. I, I really don't understand. Uh, I have to imagine that I have done something wrong in my build for that to be the case because all the reviews and even their video, none of them mention this. So I'm thinking it's a me problem and I'm going to just do something stupid. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends off of those and see if that helps. That was a rocket. This is such a bitch. Dude, fuck that. All right, and then we angle this in here. Whoops. Okay, so that's in. Now I need this piece. Okay, that's relatively terrifying, but for it to go anywhere, we would somehow have to like rock the entire thing enough for it to completely tip over. Well, sweet. Let me go ahead and put the uh, panels back on it and then I think we're done. So there it is. Um, I'm very curious how much of a difference it makes in the overall width 
couple of closing points that I'd like to make. So first off, it is a good looking display, no doubt about it. Like it's gonna give your Star Destroyer kind of a breath of fresh air if it's just been sitting on a shelf like mine has for the last couple of years on its original display stand, right? So it's, it's unique looking, which is, which is great. However, definitely didn't love the instructions. And again, maybe I did something wrong when I built mine, but I don't understand. Like I looked at the pictures and the videos that they had of them installing it. It looked the exact same as mine. So I don't understand how they got this piece to slide out of the back and I wasn't able to. Like I definitely don't love that I had to end up just cutting them down to get it over with, all right? So that's my gripe with the instructions. The acrylic base itself, it looks good, but like $80 plus 35 for shipping to the US, just for some fingerprint magnet acrylic that didn't snap together that easily, I don't know. The ends justify the means, I think, on this one. Like, it, it makes the display look great in general. But I, I don't know if going back in time, if I would purchase this again. The one good thing to note is that it is entirely doable by yourself. Um, now, if you're, like, if you're younger or something like that and can't hold the weight of this on your own, I, I definitely would have a, a helper nearby. But it's doable. You can do it pretty quickly. I, I really do believe the longest part of this entire process is peeling all of the film off of the acrylic and if you're like me, trying to figure out how you get this uh, stud out of the back. So, yeah. Good looking, happy to have it. Just don't know if I would do it all over again. So, hope the video helped out anybody on the fence with this one. Y'all have a great rest of the week. Talk to you next time.